We're talking about power carving wheels that fit on grinders today. If you're thinking of getting into power carving and you want to do some, some uh, uh, work with grinders, you're going to have to find yourself a cutter. Lots to choose from. I'd recommend buying, buying them all. They're, all. they're all great in their own ways, but probably not going to happen. So I'll give you a little bit of information on each one of the ones that I have. Um, I don't have all of the discs available, but I do have most. So the first one we're going to get started with here is a cut saw um, uh, 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 cutting wheel. This is a dished cutting wheel. It's, it, it has a curved face to it. And this essentially abrades the wood. All these tiny little spikes, I'll, uh, I'll just take tiny little cuts and uh, it works pretty good. It works uh, reasonably fast. Um, and leaves a reasonably smooth surface. Um, but if you're going to hog out a lot of wood, you, you might not go with this. But it does get into some fairly uh, tight areas. Another very similar one is this one's called the Holy Galahad. Uh, I'm not sure if I said this is a, a cut saw disc. Can't remember. But uh, th this is the Holy Galahad, um, I believe also by cut saw. And it's essentially the same cutting disc, except for the fact that it has these holes in it. These holes just allow you to, to take a little bit of a look right through the grinder as you're working. You can see stuff like different grain, how, how the grain is starting to come out and change and, and those sorts of things. Again, it doesn't cut really, really aggressively, but it does cut reasonably, reasonably fast and, and, and uh, well. This is another disc uh, with a, a flatter face on it, and this also abrades the wood. It works um, a lot slower, not a lot slower, but a fair bit slower than, than these more aggressive uh, cutting wheels. And if you try to cut, uh, if you try to remove a lot of wood, it really will um, burn a little bit. It's, it's just a little bit slower, but it does leave a pretty smooth uh, uh, surface. You can cut on the edge of these uh, wheels as well a little bit. So that's, uh, that's that guy. This is one that I use probably more than anything else. It's the Arbortech Industrial Wood Carver. It's got these little carbide teeth on it, three teeth, that can be rotated and replaced. Um, it only cuts at the circumference, the, the edge of the cutter. There's no cutters on the on the face at all. Uh, so it's it's a little bit different in that respect. These guys will cut on their 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 edge or their, their face. You can move them all away, all around, but these work in a little bit more of a deliberate way. And you always have to have that them tipped down so that their edges and uh, their their edges are just doing the, the cutting. They take off a lot of wood really quickly. They stay sharp for a long time. This is a, you know, it's, it's a workhorse. It's for removing lots and lots of wood really quickly. Next one in line also by Arbortech. It's a turbo plane. Again, it'll move, remove a lot of wood quickly. Leaves a really, really smooth um, finish. It only cuts on its face. The edge of this tool, you can even use a template to run it against. If you had a curved template or something like that, the, the edge will even um, allow you to run it against uh, a, a template. Uh, so that's a unique option if, if, you're, if you need that. Um, again, carbide, it can be sharpened with, uh, with a diamond slip stone, something like that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a really, really powerful tool.
Another one is uh, also by Arbitech. It's called a mini uh, mini turbo. This is the this is the turbo plane. This is the mini turbo. It it's um, its size lends it to be used in a lot tighter areas, a lot smaller. You can really uh, create some more uh, depth change, some ele elevation, uh, I guess. Uh, it has these the same carbide teeth, I believe they're the same anyways, as the Arbortech um, industrial wood carver. And they can also be uh, rotated and, and replaced and sharpened uh, if needed. But they do last quite, um, quite a long time. I haven't used this much, but it does a pretty good job. And um, yeah, it's, it's, the, this one as well as the next couple I'm going to talk about are just for uh, more more work working in uh, smaller tighter areas so these go right onto your grinder and you can work them like that so they protrude a little bit more than the other ones and then this is a new tool from Arbortech called the ball gouge it rotates and this uh, carbide wheel in the center will do the cutting it'll allow you to get even deeper, almost into um, you know, a, a, the inside of a cup or a, a small deep dish or a bowl or something like that. Um, I've used this uh, a few times and uh, it removes wood a little bit slower, but you know, it's, it's just another tool. It, if you're looking for massive stock removal, this is not it. This is for getting into hollows and um, uh, you know, more more fine fine tuning um, uh, round work like that. It also just goes on the end of the, the grinder like the uh, the other one. And the last one I'm going to mention to you that I have. This is a whole, this comes as a whole tool. Uh, it's from from Arbortech. Uh, it's called the mini mini grinder, I believe. Can't remember, but uh, uh, you can you can rotate this around a little bit, and it's got this little blade on it. It's a little bit of an older technology but it also allows you to get into uh, tighter areas and, and work that way. I believe, I'm not positive, but I, I believe you can put the, the uh, mini turbo wheel, cutting wheel, onto this. Anyways, that's a, that's a quick rundown of, of all these different uh, cutters that I have. Let me know what your thoughts are. You can you can always do some more reading, check them out. But I find power carving so much fun. It gives you all sorts of flexibility, and you know I I just I just love it myself. So if you have any questions, uh, drop me an email. Thanks a lot.